Hello everyone, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you the last method called elimination method that we can use for calculating enthalpy change. So uh, this method, I could, I could say it is the most reliable method uh, ever you can see in this, in this chapter. Unfortunately, this method takes a lot of time, but of course this is a bit, diff a bit easier to manage uh, when you compare this with enthalpy change cycle. So highly, I, I highly recommend you to use this method for the calculations. So here we go. Uh, first of all, this is a sample questions. Uh, so in this sample questions, uh, we, we have quite many information here. So we get a standard enthalpy change of combustions for the following things. And then uh, we find the target, what we are calculating. So we are calculating standard enthalpy change of formation of ethane. To be honest, because the numerical status are all given with uh, 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 all combustions. Therefore, I actually, we can simply use the previous method that we learned for the equations and uh, using the equation to calculate. But here, we try to work out with by using the by using this elimination method. Okay, so let's start. So step one, write down all the chemical thermal chemical equation first. So let's let's write them down here. First of all is carbon graphite combustion plus O2 becomes CO2. The next one is hydrogen plus oxygen become water. The combustion of hydrogens. So because one mole for hydrogen, we need to use fraction to manage to calculate uh, the, 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 the balancing stuff. And the last one is ethane. Ethane is C2H6. Burn, burn it plus O2 become, uh, becomes CO2 plus H2O. So three and then and then two here. In total, we get seven oxygen. So we need a fraction seven over two. So this is the thermochemical equations from the above numerical data. Don't forget to write the uh, the enthalpy change below as well. Okay, all right. So this is the thermochemical equations from the numerical data given. So what are what are we going to calculate? What is the target? So the target is shown over here. We need to calculate the formation of ethane. So how can we write the formation? How can we write the enthalpy change of formation of ethane? So ethane is C two H six. It forms from its constituent element. So it forms from its constituent. That means carbon, and then hydrogen. So we need three hydrogens, we need two carbon, and enthalpy change of formation of ethane is one mole ethane. According to the definition, one mole of substance is formed from its constituent element at standard states under standard conditions. Okay, alright, so what's next? Okay, now, here is the skills to use the elimination method. Step one. Try to find out from the from the equations shown above the three this three thermochemical equations shown shown over here. Try to match the try to match the these the things the elements the sub the reactants that you can see with the with the target equations. For example, I can see carbon graphite here. Carbon is on the left hand side. They are on the uh, they both of them are uh, on the reactant side. But you can see we have to multiply by two because we get two here. Two 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 times two. Sorry, this is missing. Negative. Okay. Okay, next one. So you get the first one already. You get the carbons here. It matches with the target equations that you need to calculate. Okay, number two. Hydrogen also matched with the reactant side of the target equations as well. So I use purple color. So target, uh, yeah. And then we multiply by three. Three, three, 
3. Because in the target equation, we get 3 hydrogens, 3x2. So times 3. And the last one over here, I use blue color. Wait a minute. C2H4 from the thermochemical equations here, it is in the reactant side. But for the target equation, it is on the product side. What should we do? We can do a very simple steps. Reverse the equation. What does it mean reverse? It means right now from the left to the right over here, from the left to the right over here is negative 155917. We can actually do it mathematically. We change it to, we change the arrow to from the, from the right to the left, from 2CO2 plus 3H2O to, uh, to ethane and oxygen. Whenever you change this one, you have to put negative sign in front of it because you reverse it. So let's try to rewrite it once again. Okay, so uh, this one should be CO2 plus H2O. We reverse the equation, we just copy once again. C2H6 plus 7 over 2 oxygen. So this is the new one. We erase the old one. Okay, done. Okay, done. Okay, now what's next? So you can see right now, is it on the product side already? So it fits the product side. Okay, so the last step would be checking. To check if we get it, if we get all the steps correct. Okay, well, how, how do we check it? So, uh, actually, uh, a very detailed steps uh, let me work out by using a very detailed step at the, at the beginning. So you can see the, this, this, these are the arrows from each thermochemical equations. And on the left hand side, it is actually a reactant side. On the right hand side, it is actually the product side. So uh, what I'm going to do is to copy everything, copy everything downstairs uh, and put it here. So two carbon, uh, I just give graphite to save time. And then three hydrogens and then 2CO2, and then 3H2O, and also 2 oxygen plus 3 over 2, that means I have 3.5, 3.5 oxygens here. Okay, on the right hand side, we get 2CO2, 3H2O, C2H6 plus 7 over 2, oh sorry, should be, anyway, it's equal to 3.5, 3.502, so let's take a look, left and right hand side, whenever you see something repeating, delete it, delete, 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 repeating, 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 repeating. So the remaining stuff will be 2 carbon, 3 hydrogens, and C2H6. Okay, alright, let's check. This is actually the same as the target equation that we need to calculate. Why we need, why we can why we can add up add them up together because here is a is a hidden hidden sign add up all the equations together whenever you add up all the equations you can also add up all the enthalpy change from the thermochemical equation above so imagine this is delta x1 delta x2 and this is delta x3 so it means the the answer for the for the things that you want to calculate over here this is delta H F, okay? So delta H F, the target that you want to calculate is equal to delta H1 plus delta H2. Right now you get minus charge here, minus delta H3. Okay, so let's plug in all the information. So the first one is negative 393.7 times 2 plus negative 285.8 times 3 minus the reason why we have minus because we reverse the equation okay so minus negative 1559.7 so the answer would be Negative eighty five point one kilojoule per mole. 
So we uh, this so called the elimination method. Okay, so let's try to work out these two examples together. So uh, the first one is over here. Uh, you know, actually, uh, quite often the thermochemical equations of the given numerical stator will not. Be, uh, I mean, the thermochemical equation usually will not be given. Uh, in the questions. Therefore, we have to work out them one by one at the beginning. So, the first one will be enthalpy change of formation of HCl. So, H2 plus Cl2 become HCl. So, because we need one mole of product, according to the definition, one mole of HCl, which is the product fold. So, we have 1 over 2, 1 over 2 over here. So, it's negative 92.3. Okay, the second equation would be 2HCl plus 2K become 2KCl plus H2. Actually, uh, I just copy from the above. It's negative 6H7. Okay, so we need the target equations right now. The target is over here. Formation of KCl. So we get K plus Cl2 become KCl. Okay, again. According to the definition, one more of KCl. Therefore, we need to use fraction to make KCl2 become 1Cl on the left hand side. Okay, alright, so let's take a look, let's check. So uh, on the left hand side, we get K and it matches with this. Oh, wait a minute, it doesn't match. We get two Ks here, but right now the target equation requires 1K only, so we divide by 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, and 1 over 2 over here. Okay, so I just erase it. Okay, whenever you divide the whole equation by 2, don't forget to divide the numbers, the, the, uh, the numerical num uh, data by 2 as well. Okay, so it fits the first one. What about the second one in blue color? So 1 over 2 H, uh, Cl2, it fits this equation. Oh, and by the way, from the, uh, from the equation below, KCl also fits as well. So we get everything already. Okay, so the remaining part is checking. So let's check once again. Uh, right now, you can, you can still copy everything. But actually, I have a very simple method. Let me introduce this to you. So you can see the arrows in the middle. This is the middle part. On the left, we get reactant sides. On the right, we get the product sides. If you use a add sign here, if left and right hand side, if the things repeat by itself, you can, re you can actually delete it. So you can see right hand side, we get 1 over 2 H2. Left hand side, we get 1 over 2 H2. So delete. XCL, XCL, delete. So the remaining parts would be Cl2, K, and KCL. So let's copy it once again. All right, so you get the same equation as the target. The same as the target. That means we have done it correctly. So let's take a look at the calculation delta h1 delta h2 so this is delta h f okay so delta h f formation of kcl will be equal to delta h1 plus now we didn't re reverse the equation so you don't need to change it to minus delta h2 but don't forget to divide it by 2 okay so negative 92.3 plus negative 687 Divide by 2, 92.3 plus minus 687 divided by 2. So negative 435.8 kilojoule per mole. Done. So we use the elimination method to solve, the, to, to calculate the enthalpy change of formation of KCL in this scenario. So the last one will be here. So Try to work out this by yourself, uh, by yourself, and spare spare five minutes of time to work it out. And check the answer. 
Uh, so please pause the video first before you check the answer. Okay, all right, so this is the steps how we can calculate. First of all, again, write all the equations. C plus S2 becomes CS2. This is the formation. No, 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 sorry. This is the target. This is the target that we need. Okay, so the equations. Okay, all right, let's start from the beginning. CS2 combustion should be reacting with oxygen becomes CO2 plus SO2. Okay, so balance, remember one mole of CS2 to be burnt. So you have to keep one over here. Okay, so balance and then oh, we, get, we get six oxygen, so we get three here. Okay, and then this is the equation number one, 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 oh, eight times two, uh, point two. So the second one, formation of SO2, SO2 from S plus O2. So negative two nine three. The third equation. So that is one that is two that is three. The third equation: carbon plus oxygen become carbon dioxide is equal to negative three nine three. Sorry, three nine three point seven. Okay, so these are the thermal chemical equation given above. So. Let's find the target. This is our target. Calculate the formation of CS2. So C plus S becomes CS2. Okay, all right. C plus S becomes CS2. So let's do the same thing. Let's take a look. Uh, purple color it matches with the third thermochemical equations here and then the next one blue color is sulfur sulfur it, it matches oh by the way i forget to to balance it yeah that's the reason why we need two times two for the whole equation and also the data here and then cs2 wait, wait a minute it is not on uh, it is not at the, at the correct correct position so we need it we need to show it on the product side but from the above thermal chemical equation it is on the reactant side so we have to reverse the whole equations co2 plus 2so2 become cs2 plus 3o2 don't forget to put a negative sign here to show you reverse the equation Okay, now it feeds. It feeds. It is on the right hand side already. Okay, now let's check again. Okay, on the left hand side, so we put a post plus sign here, plus sign here. So on the right hand side, this is the middle part. On the right hand side, we get three. Uh, we get two SO two, so it is deleted, and then CO two deleted. And oxygen two plus two plus one here is three, so it is deleted. So the remaining remaining uh, reactants will be two S and C. The product will be CS two. So is uh, we copy it once again. Two S becomes CS two. It is actually the same as what we are calculating. Therefore, the calculate the final answer would be delta H F. So delta HF of CS2 would be equal to negative, no, sorry, delta H1 plus delta H2 minus delta H, oh, sorry, sorry, my thoughts. That's not correct, that's not correct. So you can see negative sign here. So minus negative delta H1 plus delta H2 plus delta H3. So negative 1, 1, 0, 0.8.2 plus negative 293 times 2 plus negative 393.7 so 1108.2 one, minus 293 times 2 minus 393.7 so it's equal to 128.5 don't forget the positive sign because we are we are talking about enthalpy change, 
is just like temperature change or change in the index of the stock market. You have you have to show whether it is increasing or decreasing. If you tell the signal to show increase or decrease, it actually means nothing. So it's positive one two eight point five kilojoule per mole. Don't forget the unit as well. All right, so that's all for the last method called elimination method that we go through that we can use for calculating the enthalpy change. Um, and the elimination method is the most reliable method ever in all those methods. So try to try your best to make use of it in the calculation. All right, that's the end. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.